All right, we're recording, we're beginning, we're doing it. It is time for Monday's GeoGuessr, and as every Monday has been for a while, this one's no different. Doing the 50 U.S. states, we're deep in it. We're neck deep, redneck deep, in good old Kentucky. That's right, Kentucky. The, what is it, um, 15th state to join the Union right after my state. It is the 30 most, 37th most extensive and 26th most populous of the 50. That's just a taste of all the garbage. I'm going to read off uh, Wikipedia to you in this episode as I try to figure out where exactly in the state I am. I am maybe a little rushed in the fact that my neck is killing me. I am a little uncomfortable, but I am going to try to get us a really good score this time. I actually see the route we're on this time, so this is amazing. I'm hoping that this will tell me exactly what route I'm intersecting. 553. This is amazing. Here we go. So, unlike most other states I've said, I've actually been to Kentucky before. It is a, ah, God, my shoulders, a very... A uh, brief amount of time I was in the state. I will point out where I was once I actually find uh, 553 here, which I am getting concerned that I have not seen yet, as we are potentially getting to the end of the state down here. No, not yet. I right, still got time. Yeah, so what do I know about Kentucky myself? Just anecdotally, well, it's a uh, northern edge of what most people think is the south. Uh, it gets hot as fuck, and why can't I find this goddamn location? Uh, I thought I would have seen it by now, but here we are. I'm a little concerned. Interesting, it looks like a mine of some sort. C558. But I don't see 553. Five, five, so I'm going to do a little bit more of a granular look as I got a minute 40 left and I'm concerned. I'm going to click just actually so I have a uh, location. I didn't expect to get this intense this quickly. But I want to get this right. I found the route. This is like my lifeline here. So, Kentucky, the joke you'll always hear if you want to feel like a uh, American be like so how do you spell um, Kentucky's or how do you pronounce Kentucky's capital is it Louisville or Louisville and you go incorrect the capital is Frankfurt and then <laughs> that's how you can let any if anybody's like are you an American and you really need to like fool someone you go ahead and say that line and they'll be like, only an American would know that line. And then they'll let you through. Why can't I find this high, this route? Where are you? 150. 553. Five, you got to be a small enough. I'm going to keep clicking. 598. Hmm. We're still going north. I'm going to keep clicking. Why? Are you not showing yourself? Five, five, three. I'm, I'm sure you're a small enough route. I'm gonna click right there. And if it tells me, oh no, man, you were, you were way off, I'm gonna be a little upset. And it was there? God damn it. I'm mad. I probably saw that five or six times. Hmm. All right, so badness aside now, let us now talk about the state as I meander along this highway now. We have basic facts. Capital city is Frankfurt. The largest city in the state is Louisville. Apparently the largest metro, which I don't know what the fuck that is, is Kentucky Anna. I think that's made up. It doesn't sound real. I don't even know what that means. Uh, was this a root sign? Did I see? 
I did not. Um, it has, uh, let's see here, area rank is 37th. Like I said, the highest elevation is respectable. I mean, it is kind of, Appalachia goes right through here. The ma That mountain range in the eastern U.S. is the Appalachian Mountains. <clears throat> you got Rockies on the left-hand side of the country and then Appalachia on the right. I believe Appalachia is the, or Appalachian Mountains are the older of the two. Could be wrong. Ask a geologist. Um, well, the tallest mountain in Kentucky is Black Mountain, which is 4,145 feet. Pretty respectable. Now, what else is Kentucky known for? Well, if you just did like a uh, Family Feud type uh, survey question there, I'm sure you'll get a couple of answers. You'll have the Kentucky Derby, if you don't know what that is. It's a yearly horse race. It Churchill Downs, I believe it is, in Kentucky, where thoroughbred horses race in a circle until one wins. It's part of the Triple Crown, which is the Belmont, Kentucky Derby, and I believe the uh, Preakness. Three horse, it's the three um, races. I mean, Triple Crown, there's a movie that was made about it. I forget what the horse's name was. Um, <clears throat> you got Kentucky Bourbon, they make a lot of booze. Uh, this is like, if you ever hear about moonshining, I think this part of the country is where a lot of it has actually been, like, the legends and whatnot. I mean, Tennessee might be a bit more, but I'm sure Kentucky has its own history with it as well. I've only been to one part of Kentucky, and that is just on the other side of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. I believe we went to a, uh beer hall which was very weird because when i got there they're like oh you didn't know kentucky is one of the only states left in the uh u.s that lets you smoke indoors so i went to uh hofbrau house i forget exactly where it is here but yeah it was weird seeing a bunch of um benches in a beer hall style north 197 all right i I don't think I'm going to find that. But here we, we're going to do a quick little pan. 197. Let's see. I don't want to live in this part of the country, mainly because summers here are insanely humid and extremely uncomfortable. It is not what I look for in summers. There is a interesting little bump here. I don't really understand the... Uh, why the country was cut up the way it was. It was originally part of uh, um, Virginia when the Europeans came over to America. It was part of, I think it was called the Kentucky counties or something like that. I'm just going to click like around here. I'm not going to find it in time. Hmm. Right there, maybe. Um, a lot of public works, I believe. No, that was the Tennessee Valley Authority. Never mind. That's a different state. I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, we were right on the border on Shelby Gap. Interesting. On Elkhorn Creek. It did say 197. I might have missed it, which isn't a surprise. What else do we got for Kentucky? Well, the word Kentucky, um, let's see, the precise etymology of the name is uncertain, but likely based on your Koyan name, which are Native Americans. On the or on the meadow or on the prairie, which apparently is Kentake. So apologies for those who can speak Iroquois and if I've butchered it. We're in Warren County. I don't know where that is. Um the at least geography Certified Clean County. Now, I feel... No, that's Dry County. Never mind. Um, if you're... Well, I'll, I'll just say that tangent now. If you're not unsure of what I mean by, like, Dry County, uh, it goes back to Prohibition days where the U.S. just outright banned um, alcohol in the U.S. We got Junction 101 and 31 West. Let's very much give a lot of props, at least to... Kentucky roads that are extremely well uh, labeled. Like, I've not had to go hunting for <clears throat> root names all that much. They've very much done a good job at marking everything. I'll give them 
a lot of credit on that. Um, well, there's 109, Dry County. Yeah, the, uh, anyway, Dry Counties are the ones that were no alcohol whatsoever. A lot of people would go around to neighboring places and they would get booze that way. It, it was a whole thing. You know, that's like the rise of organized crime. A lot of stuff can be, ooh, 39, 31 West, look at this. God, my shoulder is killing me. This is what you get when you sleep poorly. I think we're at this intersection. So I'm going to hit home. We're at least around this part. Whether or not I'm going to nail it, it's another question here. We're going to try to find a intersection. We're near a county, at least. Edmondson County. I don't know if I'm going to see county line breaks over here. But I think we're, like, right down here. Maybe, like, there. There should be a road, potentially, up Mia. I could be wrong. But, yeah, that's Dry County. A lot. Of, I think there's still dry counties in the U.S. now. It, it's just a thing that some places do. They're very uptight and concerned. Anyway, so 101 seems to take a little turny turn. It's like this. So we're like near the intersection. Maybe we're actually over here. Let me hit home and see if on the top of this hill over this way, we're going backwards. Maybe there's a church over here. Let's see. Sorry if I've... Oh, yeah, there's the... I'm going to guess that's a church. Yeah, so we're, like, over here, maybe. Um, here we are. Now let's get back to learning a little bit more about wonderful old Kentucky, huh? There's... Uh, I'm scanning really quick here. Uh, let's see. Politics. It's politics for uh, the last couple of years. Since the year 2000, they've gone... Voting Republican quite a bit. And it's just like the previous state. There is a bit of a uh, uh, tree map, I guess it's called, the popular vote. And you can see, if you go to Wikipedia yourself and you look, see how uh, much there is voting one way compared to the other one. So let me take a drink. A lot of states are like, ooh, I got really goddamn close with that. I'm feeling... Pretty confident with that. All right. Barberville Union College in Corbett. Let's see. Can I see any of these? Barberville. This is something. We're on a highway. I don't know which one yet, though. This actually is home to, what was it called? The uh, largest. Let me scroll back up real quick. Um, world's longest cave system in Mammoth Cave National Park. It's the greatest lengths of nav navigatable, navigable waterways and streams in the contiguous United States. Um, it's a, oh, we're at Route 11. Again, fantastic work with your route signage here, folks. Top notch. Try to quickly scan for 11 here. There's 11. All right, so I'm going to hit home so I can actually see what that, uh, that was the intersection for it. So we're off of that here. So I'm just going to look for one of these. It seems like 11 stops right there. Barberville. Excuse me. Seltzer I had is making me burp. I'm not seeing it anywhere yet. It appears we're at the end. Of Route 11, maybe? No, there's 11 still. Barberville. All right. And then Union College. Now. Okay, so I think I have a decent idea as to where we are. What is on this? Why is it? Oh, it's just the thing on the top. Yeah, do not enter. I don't think I will. I feel there's a uh, little town over here. We got the Charlie Green Dixon Jr. Memorial Bridge. Let's see what this sign says. So far, 25 East. Really loving how well they sign up their stuff. I'm a very good proud, uh, per, uh, the words. 
I very much support their endeavor in actually marking up their roads. So, 25. You seem to be 25, but can I see 25 east? I don't. There's Corbin. Maybe we're, like, here? But Route 11 is down this way. Hmm. I'm going to put us right there. I think we're very close. This is probably just the bridge name. Yep. Can I see a welcome to wherever? What town are we in? Let me see what this... Whoa. Oh, we're in shit, shit screen here with some terrible resolution. What do we got? Barberville. So we are... I think we were like right here. Because that's probably the bridge. Yep. We'll put us right there. <clears throat> 45 seconds left. Let's see what else we got here. Um... Transportation, don't really care. Media. A lot of booze. Uh, there's some pretty prominent colleges here, at least when it comes to sports and whatnot. Or also, maybe just colleges in general. Uh, big places. Louisville is huge. Um, Bowling Green. It's kind of big. Anything else? This is kind of... Pretty well developed little town here. I'll, I'll give him that with this awful, awful resolution here. And I'm doing terrible for the first few and then nailing these next two. And again, it all has to do with extremely very well marcated roads. A lot of mining. Maybe not like insane amounts. Look, oh, truck lane. Uh, I don't know if they really do as much. Um, Let's see. Economy. Oh, that's right. There's a lot of uh, auto shops. Auto shops. Car manufacturers here in Kentucky. And a lot of it has to do with Junction of 1325. Hmm, that's a little small for me to actually be able to guess that. Um, has to do with the fact that I think a lot of... I can't go that way. Okay, we're on Route 11 again. I think I remember where that is. Can I get over here? I can. I don't want to be, though, because this is shitty quality. I can't get over there. What's this side say? Um, doesn't help me. Anyway, uh, a lot of vehicle manufacturers in the... Uh, In like Michigan, because you kind of think of like auto industry in America, it's up here in Detroit. It's kind of moved south a bit because I think all, um, what is it? All the uh, car manufacturers here in Kentucky, there is no unions. So I think I could be wrong in this because that's been a thing before. Okay, here's 11, 1304. But I think that's why a lot more uh, things like Toyotas, I believe, uh, certain Chevys, some Fords are in here too. Oh, that's right. There's also Ford Knox. If you ever hear anybody talk about like you got more mo money than gold at Ford Knox, you know, some other dumb shit like that. It mainly has to do with Ford Knox is kind of where all the gold is. It's the gold reserve. Yeah. The United States Army Post, best known for its site of United States Bullion Depository, which is used to house a large portion of the U.S. official gold reserve. Uh, located in Kentucky between Lowellville and Elizabethtown. Let's see. Doesn't really say how much actual gold is there. Probably a reason for that. You're never going to actually break in and steal it. That would be a great movie if you know how to write it. Well, there's, is 11, no, we're down here, so 1325, I gotta find the intersection of that. Can I, in time, find that? Probably not, but we're gonna try. Mm, 1304, 1304, one of these 1325, nope, okay, we're gonna keep moving up. 
until we get to maybe another route that might have a number on it. I'm not seeing it though. 11 disappeared. Where'd you go? Zoom out a smidge. Okay, we, we piggyback on this. Move up. 11 goes this way. Hmm. I don't see it. 1482. I got 22 seconds. Come on, please. Show me anything here. I'm not, I'm not getting... I think it might be farther. Well, I don't know. I'm seeing large numbers now still. <clears throat> Boonville. Have I guessed? Did I guess? Did I guess? I did. Oh my god. So we were way up north, huh? It was going to take me a long time to act. Yeah, 1325. I chose the wrong part of the state to start on. But it's going to happen sometimes playing these games. But anyway. Here we are. We've made it through another magic state. This one, of the last couple, I've liked this one a bit more because it actually has road signage everywhere. Kentucky, do a really good job marking up your roads. At least this map person does. Anyway, that's another state done. And if you don't feel like hanging around for the rest of them this week, come back again on a Monday for another state. We're chugging right along. But anyway... I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you could like, favorite, comment, subscribe. If you have map suggestions, ideas, or any other games you'd like me to try, or any other comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, all of the above and below, put them below. I will very much read them and get back to you. Week started. We're going to make it through it with another round of GeoGuessr at least on uh, Wednesday. So uh, we'll see you then, folks. Have a good one.